The topic of omega-3 fatty acids is not a new one. You know, omega-3s are what we find in fish oil, for example. And there's a lot of benefits. I mean, we, we know that fish oil can act as an anticoagulant so that it sort of thins the blood. It's an antiarrhythmic, which means that it helps the heart to beat in a normal fashion. It's good for our cell membranes. Right, it's an anti-inflammatory. It, it does a lot of things. It even waterproofs our skin. It does so many things. Well, now we've found out that it works to help heal nerve damage. And okay, that was a surprise. You know, spinal cord injuries are a big deal, and sciatic nerve injuries and things of that <laughs> sort. And some researchers did some studies on mice, and when they gave them sciatic nerve injuries, they crushed the nerve. Uh, if they had enough in the way of essential fatty acids on board, they healed faster and they had less disability. So it was like, wow, these things really work. And, of course, you need essential fatty acids, both omega-3s and 6s, but especially 3s, for nerves to work properly because this they depend like on that. It sounds like it would be really good for dental work, too. It would be good for anything. If we're deficient in essential fatty acids, we simply can't be healthy because our bodies cannot make them. That's why they're called essential, and they're absolutely necessary to live a normal life. So do you think that this will change your protocol with your patients? Like, for example, if they have back pain with nerve you know. I already use them, but a lot of doctors don't realize that nutrition is important, and what we're made of ha makes a big difference in what our outcome is going to be. When the U.S. Department of Agriculture did studies on tens of thousands of people, uh, they found that about 95% of people were deficient in essential fatty acids, both the omega-3s and 6s, which tells us that we're just not consuming them so much. The fats that we eat are really ones that don't do us, I mean, they're not healthy. In fact, they interfere with our health. And the facts that we need, we don't, the fats that we need, we don't get so much. I'm just thinking of all the things that it would be helpful for to take the fatty acids. Like if you've had surgery, some pe people, after they've had surgery, they can't feel or they're numb or something in that particular area. That would area. help Maybe with that, but just the anti-inflammatory effect is huge. Yeah. You can't heal without essential fatty acids. Or people that have had chemotherapy, for example, many times they get neuropathy, or right. people that are diabetics, they get diabetic neuropathy. These are the things to add, too, and of course it leads you to the next topic, which of course is, are there other things that are important <laughs> as well? But before getting there, it was this study was published in the Journal of Neuroscience in January of 2012, and that's when it, it, it it showed that it helps both motor and sensory nerves if they've been damaged. But the best way to do that uh, is to add to the omega-3 fatty acids infrared light therapy. And if you go to the site, which you're already on or you wouldn't be hearing this, uh, you, would, you want to put an infrared light therapy in the search box and you'll find a lot of information there that will document with scientific literature how important this is in the healing process, particularly of nerves. And he definitely knows this because it's first-hand experience. <laughs> well, indeed, yes. I've had problems myself with neuropathy from time to time for reasons that we don't need to get into here. But, but on your patients. On my patients, for sure. And, of course, I'm involved with <laughs> clinical trials as well at the University of California in San Francisco where we just got a $6 million grant to look at chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathies, meaning that people who are treated for cancer who developed peripheral neuropathies that are painful and also numb and interfering with how people walk, we, already did we know the, it can work. And we already did the study we on did the, the diabetic study. neuropathy. Yeah, too. so this is powerful stuff. And how does it work? It increases circulation almost instantly by releasing nitric oxide wherever that light hits a blood vessel wall. It reduces inflammation. It, re it increases lymphatic drainage so the areas are not so congested. It speeds up healing according to NASA studies by 50%. And more importantly, it affects the nerves that cause pain, the sensory nerves that cause pain. And I would imagine that in, in a setting where you've had physical damage to your spine, yeah, definitely think about the omega-3 fatty acids because here we have a study in a journal of neuroscience, okay, that's showing it. But be thinking about this infrared light because it's new, it's cheap, it's effective, and it's safe.